I describe the intersection of DX and CX as a coming together of digital IT metrics with customer experience metrics to help the customer or help the business better understand um, where they can improve the customer experience, which would lead to a better business outcome. So retailers are incorporating DX uh, in their day-to-day -day activities through things like when they launch a new uh, feature or function on their website or maybe a third-party service, they'll set up dashboards to help them understand the digital experience as this product launches so that they can know real-time if they're having the impact they had hoped with their digital experience, which will then impact the customer experience. The biggest possibility of digital experience is using it to understand where there might be issues impacting customer experience. And when you can improve customer experience through understanding through DX, you can improve their experience as well as your bottom line. I think the biggest obstacle that I see in the work I do with the customers I work with is the sharing of information between the IT teams and the business teams. Both teams are interested in improving customer experience, but they think about it in different ways. The IT team thinks about it in did we deliver a good service through our, our infrastructure, our third party services? And the business thinks about from a perceived delivery. Did the customer have a good experience? Did they, were they able to accomplish the tasks they wanted to accomplish? The single most important thing to tell people about digital experience is the fact that it leads to better customer experience, which could lead to better business outcomes. It could also reduce, reduce costs if it's an internal customer application that you're improving. So there's upsides um, in improving DX and CX. Mm -hmm.